Hello. In this video, I want to show frame design. So how to use frame design to draw a structure. So here you can see I've already created a structure. I'm going to show in this video how to do that again. So how to create this structure uh, in frame design. It's a free tool to analyze uh, frame construction. So I'm going to go to create a, a new file here, open. And this is the way the frame design works. You can create a new structure, so I'll do that here. I'll name it uh, bridge one, for example. Okay, and I can open it like this. So it, uh, Frame Design will store your previous files, and you can just uh, continue with them. So in this case, I want to continue with bridge one. With when you select it and you choose minus, then you can delete a file. So I'm not going to do that over here. I'm going to create a new structure over here. So First, I'll draw my first truss. So I'm going to work with a truss structure in this case. And then just click at the center point and then zoom out until I can create a, a bridge that is big enough. So I can just go left with my mouse and this beam, if I select it, I can drag this point to the right and create a bridge that, of the length that I want. So it's a 20 meters in this case that I want. My first uh, first truss in the structure, and just with the left mouse I can uh, move the construction. Then I'll, I'll start drawing more trusses, and the raster you have over here can be quite convenient. So if you zoom zoom in and out, the raster will change. Uh, for example, this one I'll create a bit higher, and then just keep on drawing trusses in this construction. And you see, I'm gonna get a symmetrical construction. Uh, here one more and for the rest just uh, keep on to uh, draw these trusses in it's nice to work uh, symmetrically so draw one truss on one side at a time but you can still change your construction in, in retrospect so after you draw it you can still change a lot in the construction which is nice I'll just continue and the last one and I'll show if you want to change it just select the beam and you can conveniently drag it like that and if you want to drag it in less of a distance so just zoom into the construction the raster will get finer and then you can drag it with more precision so that's uh, quite nice the way that works so now I can uh, enter fixtures I want to fix this side so it can still rotate but it cannot move anymore and on the other side I want a rolling support and then I can enter a force I can choose a distributed force but in this case I'm gonna choose a point force in the middle of this beam and now you already see the moment diagram in this construction so here in the middle there's quite a big moment because here there's no support of a, a vertically moving uh, beam or a beam that's running in a vertical direction so here's a quite big moment you can see the deformation and also you can choose which results you want to see with this button uh, now I'm looking at the moment I can also look at the, the shear uh, in this diagram and the, the tensile stress tensile and compressive force as well you can also choose the to see the stresses and you can see the, the displacements so it's, a, it's quite a nice convenient tool Okay, and the only thing until this point I think doesn't really work completely correctly is if I want to edit a beam, I can do that over here. See these uh, broken images? I think that's something that's still got to be fixed. I assume that if you if this will be fixed, you can rotate the beam in the direction that you want. I don't think at this point it's uh, possible. So I think that will be something they'll add in the near future probably because you can also download this tool as an app on your phone or on the iPad so it's uh, working quite nicely and I had to move to this tool after Autodesk Frame, uh, Autodesk Force Effect uh, stopped being supported so then I moved to this tool. You can also uh, choose to edit a force so the escape key just works. I can edit this force by choosing this pen and I can actually rotate it over a fine distance so all in all quite a nice tool to be able to do some simple strength analysis it shows you the deformations exaggerated of course 
here you can see the when I zoom out a little that the total displacement the number is just under and maybe I have to hide the, the moment so I can see it here you can see the number it's six millimeters of displacement in total in, in this situation but of course it uh, it will be more accurate more precise and more useful when you can actually rotate the beam as I mentioned before I think they'll add it in the near future so I'll activate a moment again so that was what I wanted to show about frame design thanks for watching